What's the latest timing on the EIDL grant program? What are some important things you need to know about the PPP program if you're thinking about applying again this week or next week? And the latest on the $2,000 stimulus check proposal and Biden stimulus proposal, which we expect later this week. And some very quick data on who received EIDL grants in the first round. I think this will be helpful to give you context on what you can expect this time around. Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. It's Tuesday, January 12th. I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in to this very quick video. Let's jump right to the app for some quick updates here. First on the EIDL grant timing. You know, under our EIDL grant tracker, you can check more info and follow along. We are updating this throughout the day. You know, the latest rumors that are circulating are that are that the EIDL grant will go live this Sunday, January 17th. We called the SBA as well, and while they didn't give us a definitive answer, they did say that it's coming soon. So that may mean we have a few more days. Regardless, we are going to keep an eye on the SBA website. We wouldn't be surprised if it comes earlier. You can follow us at hello.skip on Instagram, and we're posting news there as well. Okay, back to the tracker. Of course, I just mentioned no new news in the EIDL grants. PPP, let's take a look. Some banks started accepting applications yesterday, a very limited number of community banks. Same with tomorrow, but some of our partners will go live tomorrow and Thursday. So if you go to the app, we will have lenders in there very soon. If not tonight, then by tomorrow, and we'll help you apply that way. Again, you can go to trackppploan.com to get the app. You can also go to trackeidlgrant.com to also get the app. Those both go to download pages for our app. In stimulus news, a little over 7% of you have marked that you've received your stimulus check. And in vaccine news, around 3% of the U.S. population has gotten at least one dose. That's around 9 million people. You know, yesterday there was some progress. It's slow and steady. On average, it's been between 1 and 2 million shots per week. We hope to see that double, triple in the next couple weeks but we'll keep an eye on that too. Finally, I'm gonna get into a few new posts that we've put up in the past 24 hours that will be helpful. First off, on the stimulus checks, are they on the way? Okay, a major priority for Biden's administration will be passing legislation for $2,000 stimulus checks. We know that. Most of the Democrats support this as well, also many Republicans. He said last Friday that Congress needs to finish the job and get people full $2,000 checks. $600 is simply not enough. Although there are still challenges to getting this passed, we go into that on the blog. You can read about it here. But in short, Biden would need the support of every Democratic senator or the support of at least one Republican senator. And there's at least one Democratic senator, Joe Manchin of West Virginia, who said he does not want to support $2,000 checks. He'd rather have it go to another program. Here's what else could be in the next stimulus bill. We just hit some of the highlights here. You can read them. Again, this is on the helloskip.com blog and on our app. Unemployment expansion, aid to local governments, education funding, vaccine distribution funding, more small business support, specifically those in low-income communities, and an eviction moratorium and rental assistance. A lot of these are in the new stimulus bill that passed on December 27th, but of course, many people want more funding in these areas. Finally, if you are thinking about a PPP loan, and again, we encourage many people to at least look at it because especially with the changes this time around, you do not have to deduct any potential EIDL grant from the PPP loan. So even if it's a few thousand dollars, it may be worthwhile for you. We talk about in the post how to calculate your income from freelancing. In short, basically, whatever you got over a year, you would need to divide by 12, and then you could two and a half times that. So basically, the question comes up a lot. Well, what if I have lumpy income? You know, some of my months I make a lot of money, some months I make no money. Well, you take the total for the year, divide by 12. Again, this is our reading and interpretation of the rules that the SBA put out. So that would be one way to calculate the two and a half times calculation. You know, our conclusion is that it's worth applying and at least learning more about, and we have more resources on the app. Keep that in mind. We will have partnered lenders tomorrow, and a lot of the lenders we have will help you figure this out as you go through the form, okay? So there's gonna be clear instructions as you go through the form to guide you through what to think about. So that should help a lot. Finally, we published some data. I mentioned this yesterday and I shared some of it yesterday, but there's a lot of EIDL grant data, which is interesting from the first go around. I wanna hit two of the highlights here and also tell you what we're still missing, what we still wanna hear about. Number one, we were surprised that there was such a variability between the average advance per business per state. For example, people who applied in Illinois on average got $5,213 for their advance. And of course, all of this is based on what types of businesses applied, how big were the businesses. But 
it's still interesting to see, and we look at Florida here, which had the lowest, 2,907 on average in Florida. You know, there could be a lot of reasons for that. Maybe tens of thousands of more people in Florida were independent contractors, so therefore that skewed the data down a lot. But it's interesting to see, it's interesting to see this 2,300 difference right here. And you can take a look at your state average too, by the way. This is on the app, it's also on the blog. Um, if you want to look up your state and see what the average was and how many people got advances in your state in the first go around. You know, the second not surprising thing was that the most popular states got the most amount of funding. Again, not surprising there. You know, and the question we pose is, are we going to see a similar variation this time around too? We don't know. The questions we still have though are this. How many people in total applied for EIDL advance in the first round, right? We would love to know, did half the people get approved? 20%, 30%? This will help us understand this round. I mean, we have doubled the funding this time around in the two pots of money, the 20 billion for the low income provision, 20 billion for just regular grants. But we would love to know what the success rate was. We do expect this program to be more popular this time around. We would also like to know how many businesses or individuals were denied for their EIDL advances. And of course, if they have the reason for those denials, whether it was based on credit or something else, versus how many businesses or individuals didn't receive funding just because the funding ran out, right? That would be a question we would love to know. Two, if we find that data, we'll post it. Overall, I think this will help as you get ready for this next round of EIDL grants. These are some things to keep in mind. But there's no action needed yet. Of course, stay tuned, keep an eye on the app. If you have questions, check the app or you can leave a comment. I'm trying to answer as many as possible. You know, as we ramp up for the EIDL grant and the PPP, we're busy trying to add more features on the app. That's keeping us busy. We'll do our best to help answer. And if you have other questions too about the stimulus, or about the PPP, feel free to leave in the comments. And if you're not a subscriber, please join us and subscribe and share with a friend. They will surely appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. As always, stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.